that's the one that I wanted. That's the one that I won. That's the one that was put around my neck during the games. And that's the one that I want back. So uh, it's, it, that's, it's a little, well, it's very hard breaking for me. This past weekend, Canadian Paralympic swimmer Aurelie Rivard had her vehicle stolen in Montreal. Her 2019 RAV4 was parked on Davidson Street near Rochelle just before the Petro-Canada gas station on Saturday night into Sunday. I went out for dinner with friends and when I came back, my car was gone. Uh, so it was obvious that my window had been busted, like somebody like broke into my car because it was like, my window was like all over the ground and uh, didn't have a car anymore. Rivard had many valuables inside her car, including the gold medal that she won in the 400 meter freestyle event at the 2016 Paralympic games in Rio. On a like objective standpoint, it has no worth, no value. Uh, what brings the value to the medal is my experience like of it, everything that I did to win it at the games. It's, um, it has values to my eyes because I'm the only one who invested in it uh, with my time, with my emotions, with my work, with, you know, all of this. The Paralympic athlete adds that this medal is important to her because in the same event at the previous Paralympics in 2012 in London, she had won silver. Winning gold in 2016 represented four years of hard work. And it was such a special moment. I shared it with all my family, my friends, my team. Uh, it was a last, my last event of the Games too. So I could celebrate a little bit. I could let go of the pressure a little bit too for the first time of the competition. So no, it was, it was, it's probably one of the most, you know, significant to me. Rivard has reported the theft to police. She says they told her they will do their best, but that they receive about 10 calls per week for her model of car in Montreal. Going forward, the Paralympic swimmer isn't very hopeful that she will see her medal again, but is asking those who stole her car to return it. I have a lot of emotions that I would love to share with them, but honestly, I just want, I want my car. I want everything that's in my car back. I want my medal back. I just hope that they they hear it and they they can throw my medal on the ground and then somebody will pick it up. But I, that's fine. But um, hopefully uh, somebody somewhere will, will find it. In Montreal, Gareth Maddock-Jones, City News.